Hello Tamers and welcome to RB01 vs EX04. Instead of having two separate tournaments, I've decided to combine both sets into a team battle, 4 on 4. And instead of randomizing, I've chosen the matchups based on certain themes. And in round 1, we have... The Clash of the Green Beasts, Drbitmon vs Black Mega Gargumon. Black Mega Gargumon has the first move. Security setup. Digimon standby. Let's open the digital gates. Hatching, Kokomon evolves into Lopmon. Then, for three cost, green memory boost. One, two, three, and four. Not much options there, they're gonna choose Terriermon. Turnover, hatching, Bosamon evolves into Angoramon. Then, for three cost, they will play green memory boost as well. One, two, three. 3, 4, and pick up another Angoramon, playing it for 3. On play, the top 3 cards of the deck are searched for 1 card with Angoramon in its text and 1 Ruli. 1, 2, and 3. They choose Jimbar Angoramon. Turnover, Lopmon moves out, and for 3 cost, Terriermon joins her. On play, the top 4 cards of the deck are searched for 1 2 color green card and 1 tamer with Henry Wong in its name. 1, 2, 3, and 4. They are going to pick the level 4, Wendy Gomon. With that, using the delay effect of green memory boost, they gain back 2 memory, and paying 2, evolve Lopmon into Wendy Gomon, which immediately goes for security, activating its alliance effect. When this Digimon attacks, by suspending one of your other Digimon in play, add the suspended Digimon's DP to this Digimon's, and it gains security attack plus 1 for the attack. So Terriermon will now lend its power to Wendy Gomon. With Kokomon's inheritable during your turn once per turn when in effect suspends one of your Digimon, one draw, and here's the icing on the cake. With Lopmon's inheritable, during your turn, when you suspend a Digimon for an alliance effect, you may evolve this Digimon into a two-color green Digimon in your hand, paying its evolution cost. But when this Digimon would evolve with this effect, reduce the evolution cost by two. So paying three minus two, only one cost. When the Gomon will evolve into Black, Rapid Mon, which means with Alliance, this attack is now resolving on 8k plus 1k DP, a total of 9k DP on two checks. First, the new Lamormon, which only has 8k, they get through. And second, green memory boost placed in the battle area. Now, at the end of the attack, Black Rapid Mon D digivolves one opposing Digimon, but Angoramon is already level 3. And with Wendy Gomon's Inheritable, at the end of the attack, once per turn, if you have another suspended Digimon in play, return one green Digimon from your trash to your hand, but your trash is still empty. Turnover, Angoramon steps out. And they are going to blast both green memory boots for memory plus 4 to 5. And paying 2, the upper Angoramon evolves into Jimbar Angoramon. On Evolve, if you don't have a Ruli in play, you may play one from your hand. And then, for 3, it super evolves into Lamormon. On Evolve, this Digimon gains piercing for the turn. Then, if it has an evolution card with Angoramon in its name, suspend one opposing Digimon, no targets. But now that it has gained piercing, Lamormon attacks Black Rapidmon. At base, both have the same 8k DP. However, with Angoramon's Inheritable during all turns, if your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon in play, this Digimon gets plus 1k DP, and the new Jimbar Angoramon has the exact same Inheritable. So Lamormon rises to 10k DP, shredding his claw straight through Black Rapidmon's armor. And with piercing, check, but it is Black Mega Gargomon standing in his way from security on 13k DP. So Lamormon is taken out in response as well. Now Angoramon will attack the suspended Terriermon. Once again, both have the same 1k DP at base. But the new Bosamon has the same inheritable as Angoramon and Jimbar Angoramon, just that it only activates during your turn. So it rises to 2k and emerges victorious. Next, for 2 cost, Angoramon evolves into Jimbar Angoramon and Turnover. Hatching Kokomon evolves into Terriermon Assistant, then for 2 cost into Turuyemon. And finally, for 4 cost, here come the Twin Tamers, Henry and Suzy Wong. Turn over. Active, draw, hatching, Bosamon. Evolves into 
Angoramon. Now Jimbar Angoramon will go for secure. Because both Samon and Angoramon's inheritables are phrased as, if your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon in play, they trigger even when your opponent's field is empty, so Jimbar rises to 8k for its kick. Check. 1k on Lopmon. Trash. Then for 2 cost, the Angoramon in the raising area evolves into Jimbar as well. And finally, 4-3, here comes the new Rulian turnover. But at the end of the turn, the new Ruri's effect triggers. Once per turn, you may unsuspend one of your Digimon with Angoramon in its text. And for those of you who are unsure, text does include the name of the card. Jimbar unsuspends, draw, and to Ruyemon moves out. At the start of the main phase, Henry and Susie activate your sibling effects. If you have one or less Digimon in play, you may play one Terriermon or Lopmon from your hand and no cost. But the Digimon played by this effect can't be evolved, and at the end of your opponent's turn, you must delete it. With this effect, Lopmon is played. Its on-play search is the same as Terriermon's, except that it looks for a tamer with Susie in its name instead. One, two, three, and four. They are going to choose evil Cherubimon. And with that, Tsuruyemon goes for security. Just like Wendigomon, it has Alliance, so it will now borrow Lopmon's power, triggering Kokomon for one draw. And with the power of Terriermon Assistant, who has the same inheritable as Lopmon, Tsuruyemon can now evolve into a two-color green Digimon for minus two cost, triggering Henry and Susie's second effect as well. During your turn, when one of your Digimon in play that has Terriermon or Lopmon in its evolution cards would evolve, by suspending this tamer, reduce the evolution cost by one. And this works with the new Terriermon Assistant as well because this card slash Digimon is also treated as Terriermon. So for 3 minus 2, minus 1, zero cost, Teruyemon will evolve into a second copy of Black Rapidmon. One draw. So once again, it is now attacking for 9k on two checks. First, 3k on Angoramon, trashed. Second, 4k on Gargomon, trashed as well. Now at the end of the attack, Black Rapidmon D digivolves Jimbar Angoramon into Angoramon, and then with Turuyemon's inheritable. At the end of attack, once per turn, if you have another suspended Digimon in play, one of your opponent's Digimon gets minus 2k DP for the turn. The target is Angora, at only 1k, he is wiped out. And now, for 4 cost. The ultimate fortress will now be tainted black, becoming an absolute wall of cold-hearted steel. Take no prisoners! Black Rapidmon now evolves into Black Mega Gargomon. One draw. No one evolve, so with that, turn over. But at the end of the turn, with Black Mega Gargomon's effect, once per turn, two of your green or black Digimon in play gain blocker and reboot until the end of your opponent's turn. There are only two targets. So the turn passes over. During the active phase, both Black Mega Gargomon and Lopmon unsuspend with reboot, draw, and Jimbar and Goromon moves out. First, for 3 cost, he super evolves back into Lamormon. Once again, with its on evolve, it gains piercing and suspends Black Mega Gargomon. And now, with the new Ruri's first effect. During your turn, when you would evolve your Digimon into a green card with Beast, Animal, or 4 Sovereigns in one of its traits, by suspending this Tamer, reduce the evolution cost by 1. So activating the power of her new Digivice VV, Ruri suspends herself. And for 4 minus 1, 3 cost. Beneath that brutal facade lies a knight of the noblest order. For Ruri's honor and that of all mankind, slice forth DR Bitsmon. One draw, unevolved. Suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then if your opponent has no unsuspended Digimon in play, gain one memory. So suspending Lopmon, they fulfill the condition and gain back one memory. At this moment, Black Mega Gargomon's second effect can trigger. On all turns once per turn, when another Digimon in play becomes suspended, you may unsuspend this Digimon. But they are not going to fall for the baits. Black Mega Gargomon chooses to remain down. Now Ruri's turn reaches its conclusion. However, with DR Bitmon's second effect, at the end of your turn, one of your Digimon in play with Angoramon in its text can attack one of your opponent's Digimon in play. So it attacks, aiming for Lopmon, because it cannot afford to choose Black Mega Gargomon in this case. Basically, 
These two green bosses have a really interesting interaction where DR Bitmon can never attack Black Mega Gargo, but Black Mega Gargo also can never choose to block DR Bit. First with DR Bitmon's on attack, same as its on evolve, it suspends a target and gains back one memory. And with Angoramon's Inheritable, since they have Ruri in play, they gain back another memory. Now that all of the on attack timing effects have resolved, we return to pending effects from the end of attack timing. With the new Ruri's second effect, since DR Bitmon mentions Angoramon in its text, he unsuspects. Now the attack connects and Lotmon is cut down. First with Lamormon's Inheritable, they trash the opponent's top security, Terriermon Assistance. And then with the piercing, gained from Lamormon's On Evolve, Antilamon trashed as well. For 3, they're just gonna drop another green memory boost. 1, 2, 3, and 4. And pick up Dear Bitsmon. Turnover, active, draw, hatching, Kokomon. Now at the start of the main phase, since Henry and Susie only have one Digimon in play, they can drop a Terrier or Lop from the hand. They are gonna choose BT3 Terriermon. And with that, Ruri can no longer gain memory except with Tamer effects. Pokemon evolves into Assistant, and Black Mega Gargo goes for security. Ruri chooses not to block with DR Bitmon because he will simply be defeated since the unsuspended Terriermon prevents his inheritable power gain. Final security check for Ruri, and it is... 6k on Jimbong, trash. Next for 2 cost, Terramon Assistant will evolve into Black Gargomon, and for 3 cost into Dark Antilamon. At the end of the turn, Black Mega Gargo triggers once again to give both himself and this Terramon both blocker and reboot. Turn over, Ruri bumps the memory up to 3, active, reboot, draw, hatching, Bosamon, which evolves into Angoro. But at this moment, Ruri can't even gain memory. First, for 2 costs, you will play the option card Peon Duck to give piercing to DR Bitmon while suspending the opposing Terriermon. Now DR Bit attacks Terrier. On attack, Black Mega Gargo is suspended but they cannot gain memory and the memory gain from Angoramon's compulsory inheritable is wasted as well. Of course, Black Mega Gargo chooses not to one suspend to block, the attack connects and Terrier is defeated. And with Lamormon's inheritable, Henry and Suzy will now lose their final security. Another copy of Dark until. But now, Ruri can use Green Memory Boost Delay to gain 3 memory, and for 3 cosplay, another Angoramon. And with Ruri's effect, she is suspended to evolve it into Jimbar Angoramon for 2 minus 1, 1 cost. And at the end of her turn, the Humble Knight will once again rise to defend his princess. Turn over, active, draw, Antilamon moves out. And of course, goes for the final blow. And with Alliance, she borrows power from Black Mega Garg. First, with the two Kokomon Inheritables, two draw. With Black Rapid Mons Inheritable, during your turn, once per turn, when an effect suspends a Digimon in play, this Digimon gains piercing for the turn. So Black Mega Gargo gains piercing. And with Black Gargo Mons Inheritable, during your turn, once per turn, when an effect suspends a Digimon in play, this Digimon gets plus 2k DP for the turn. And now, with Terriermon Assistance Inheritable, coupled with Henry and Susie's evolution cost reduction for 3 minus 3, Zero cost, Antilamon will evolve into the Fallen Cherub, Evil, Cherubimon. One draw. On Evolve, until the end of your opponent's turn, this Digimon and one of your other level 5 or lower Digimon gain. On Delete, play this card from your trash at no cost. Right now, Cherubimon is the only target who gains this effect. And now he's attacking for a total of 12, plus 13, plus 2, 27 KDP. Sworn to protect Ruri until the very end, DR Bitmon has no choice but to block. Unfortunately, that triggers Black Mega Gargomon, allowing him to reignite. Now the battle resolves and with Cherubimon at 27 KDP, DR Bitmon is vanquished off the face of the earth. It's kind of like he got hit by such a hard blow, he regressed into Jimbo. But since Black Mega Gargomon suspended, Antila cannot use her inheritable. And with that, BMG attacks. Ruri has no blockers on the field and no security remaining. It's a direct attack and the match is so. The winner is Black Mega Gargomon.